what's up my boss babes y'all back with another video okay y'all and today's video is basically going to be about knowing your words okay um a lot of situations that we go through in life it makes us kind of doubt ourselves whether it be like failures in life that you might have had or like just family members discouraging you or constantly you know reminding you of your past making you feel like you can't grow or you won't reach a certain standpoint and make you or sometimes family members can even make you feel like you're not doing enough you know and that can be discouraging at times especially when you're trying your hardest to work with what you got work with what god has blessed you with um you know and life is not easy you know, you know, especially if you have kids and all types of things and distractions and things that the enemy tries to send to throw you off your path, it can cause you to stumble a little bit. But one thing about it, when you know who you are, what people say when they try to discourage you or try to make you feel like you're not doing enough, it, it doesn't matter. You have to know, if you're following God, you have to know that there's going to be people that are going to discourage you. There's going to be people, and they might not even notice that they're discouraging you when they speak. You know, especially when, you know, you might come from a family that they really don't help or they really don't speak life into you. You know what I'm saying? They're always telling you what you're not doing enough of or what you need to do or what you need to fix. And it's like, these people could have their own problems and they could actually learn a thing or two from you. But instead of them wanting to learn from you, they just want to try to teach you and tell you and tell, you're, tell you you're not going the right way and that you need to change this and you need to fix this. And it's like they have a million and one things they need to fix. But they don't want nobody telling them what they need to fix. Because the thing, the whole point of them trying to get you to believe that you're not doing enough is to discourage you. It's to make you give up. It's to make you stop trying because eventually you'll start to feel like, dang, I'm trying the best that I can with the tools that I got and it's not enough. But I'm here to tell you that you are enough. You are enough. Okay. I know you've been tired. I know sometimes you might wake up, you might feel like you can't get out of bed. And I know sometimes you might wake up and feel like your body in pain can't take care of your kids and stuff but you still get up and you keep pushing and as long as you do that you're doing enough you know the enemy comes to still kill and destroy still kill and destroy your peace still kill and destroy your happiness still kill and destroy um your blessings you know what i'm saying and you can't let the enemy um destroy you or put thoughts in your head that you're not doing enough especially when god is showing you and revealing to you the intentions of certain people trust god Always trust God. I don't care what these people say to you because at the end of the day, whatever these people say, God is going to send you a message. He might send you a dream. He might show you a sign. You know what I'm saying? Might You might stumble upon a video. God has ways of communicating with his children. You have to recognize and notice the voice of God when he's speaking to you so that you can understand what he's trying to tell you because God is... God, let me tell you something, how good God is. He had, he's the one who has your true best interest at heart. Okay. God can sometimes have more of your best interest at heart than your own bloodline, where you come from, your relatives, your mother, your father, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes mothers and fathers can be jealous of their children and, or their life, or like, you know, the blessings that God ha has blessed their kids with. Instead of being happy for their child, they're, they can become jealous and they can try to attack you know, their, their own child. And sometimes they don't even realize they're attacking because they don't even realize that the spirit, they have a spirit inside of them that is, is trying to attack their child, you know? And, 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 and sometimes people let the spirit of jealousy consume them and cause them to do foul things like gossip and, you know, always have something negative to say. And you know what I'm saying? So just realize when God is confirming to you who you are, that's all that matters when God blesses you and God is showing you that the way that you're going is the right way it doesn't matter what an outsider say sometimes people try to stop you because they know 
They try to stop you from doing what you're doing because they know that if you if you reach a certain level in life, you might surpass them. And some people are afraid of you to surpass them afraid of you to surpass them because they think that you're going to leave them behind okay and the only way these people can will be getting left behind is if they're not doing the work if they're not following the will of god then that's when god will take them out of your life no matter how much they want to be in your life god is not going to keep allowing people to be distractions in your life and when someone is trying to distract you and take you off your path god is going to show that to you and god is going to tell you warn you hey you got to watch out for this person keep your distance because let me tell you god loves his children and he's not going to let you go astray and he's not going to forsake you and he's not going to let you drown in confusion the enemy is the only one that tries to keep you in confusion when people know that they're behind the scenes doing evil stuff towards you and then you confront them about it and they're sitting up here acting like they don't know what, what's going on that is somebody who is doing the work of the enemy if if a person has harmed you in any way and they refuse to apologize to you or refuse to own up to what they did to you. Or they try to put it off like it's something else when it's really them. That's somebody who doesn't belong in your life. Because all they're going to do is play manipulation mind games with you. It's never going to be, they're never going to be accountable for themselves. A lot of the people that we have allowed in our life, the narcissists, they're not accountable. They never take accountability. It's always somebody else's fault. You might be distanced from your family and instead of them looking at themselves and saying, oh, it's maybe because of how I treated him or her. They're, they're looking at your partner like, oh, it's them. It's them. They're in their head. When all the whole actuality your family members could be gossiping about you, slandering you, refusing to help you, you know, treating you different from other family members, trying to show favoritism or having events and not inviting you, you know, just little petty things. And they think you don't notice it, but you do. You just don't care because you know that God is going to bless you. He's going to bless. God is going to bless you so much to where every pain that you've went through, it's not even going to matter anymore. OK, the amount of anointing that's about to come over some of you guys is life. OK, the amount of blessings, the amount of overflow that is about to surpass you, that is about to come into your life. Hallelujah. It is going to be worth all of the pain that you have been through. That's why you got to know who you are, because on this journey, people will try to discourage you. People will try to convince you that you're not doing the right things because what you're doing exposes their darkness. What you're doing exposes their demons and they don't want to be exposed because they don't want to change. If you truly want to be with God and you truly want to change, you have to be willing to reveal your demons, expose your demons and get and go through it. You can't run from your demons forever. You can't hide. You can't hide because your demons always have a way of catching up to you. So it, it, it's always important. It was a situation that I had where I did something wrong and I just I just swore I was going to take it to the grave with me and it eventually came out. And I was ashamed. Yes, I was. I was ashamed because it wasn't it wasn't of God. It was it was disgusting. It was something that would hurt me if it was on the shoe on the other end. And eventually I got I, I reaped what I sowed for that. But my whole thing is I had to get it out. I had God made it a way. God put me in a position where I had to release that secret that I was hiding, where I had to release that demon, because that is how God was able to save me and being able to work through me, where I had nothing holding me back from his blessings, nothing holding me back from his, his love and his mercy and his grace. But this message is just telling you to know your worth, believe in yourself. Don't let doubters and haters discourage you from doing what God has told you that he wants you to do okay i love you my boss babes y'all stay bossed up